Okay, we're on the home stretch of this special sports edition of Southern Living Presents, and we'll take our last lap around the course of the Atlanta steeplechase. Under the wire, six jumps to go. Steeplechasing started with Fox Hunter said, my horse can outrun yours. And we'd take a steeple out the church steeple and said, well, I'll get there first. It didn't make it, any difference how you got there. That's where the name steeplechase came from. In today's game is controlled, it's organized. Well, we started the Atlanta steeplechase in 1966. And it was a barnyard operation the first year, but it worked well. And the horses that came down, everybody was happy with it and encouraged us to go on. Since then, it's been successful. The first leg of the steeplechase triple crown. I'm visiting from Philadelphia. We just came to see the people chase and see the horses and have a good time. And people always say when you're in the South, you have to look right. You know, when you go to an event like this, you have to dress for it. So we're here. We're having a good time. We're, we're dressed to the nines. We're entertainers, so we got to entertain the crowd. We try to do pig races and dog races and pony rides. And we're going to see parachutes, 15 of them coming down to the sky here. And while we entertain the crowd, incidentally, we do run horses over the steeplechase courses for the, for the steeplechase fans. There are five jump races, and then we have one flat race at the end. The flag is up, and they're off. The flat track is run on turf dirt, and they run shorter races from seven furlongs to a mile and a quarter. The steeplechase races, we're on turf, and we jump fences. The longest race today is right at three miles. And that's a lot for a horse. Well, I ride steeplechase races and flat races. Flat racing is faster. Those uh, big plastic things out there aren't in your way. Whereas jump racing is more for stamina, horse skill, horse courage. Somewhat same with a jockey. So, I mean, it's a, a lot of different things can win and lose a race in a jump race. Whereas in a flat race, you wouldn't have to worry about it. It's a very technically more different game. And this is Ready to Roll. Nickname Rocky. After Rocky Balboa. He's a fighter. He makes a comeback every time. He's been through a lot of battles. He broke both his back legs at one time. He colicked, almost died on me this winter. The veterinarian didn't think he'd make it through the night. And um, we worked day and night to save his life. And um, Rocky fought another fight and came on again. Under the wire. Six jumps to go. Straight back. I'm the uh, race caller here at the Atlanta Steeple Chase. I'm the one that you actually hear saying during the running of the race and when the horses leave the paddock, the riders are up and they're off and the flag is up, that's all me. Down the back straight the last time and these two continue to battle it out. On the front, Bo Filou. In the blue cap and straight path, they went over that jump together. You know, every announcer has their own style and their own sort of rhythm and pace and uh, you just sort of find your own way. This is actually a, a little aid to help me call the race. These are actually the owner's colors. So this is uh, blue, light blue with black cross sashes, uh, gold stripes. So you have to pay attention, concentrate, and you have to forget the other races and concentrate on the one you're doing. And you don't get a second chance, let's put it that way. The chart caller for the racing form, or Equibase, he's got an audience of one, and I have an audience of 10 or 15 or 20,000. Down the straight. Straight path has the lead motel affair toy soldier to the outside. Up on the outside at the final jump. Some swerving and bumping. Mile 70 yards. Matt McCann takes a look, likes what he sees, draws away to win the Georgia Cup. It doesn't get much better than that. When you own them, train them, ride them, this horse almost died on me and I never thought he lived. Didn't matter. He's a champ. My big boy. It was a $10,000 allowance race, with the purse being $10,000. It was a tough race. I knew the competition well. I knew a lot of the horses in the race. And um, going into the race on paper, you would have thought that I was the underdog. But um, he loved this course. He loved the course. We could have beaten a sea biscuit today. If you had a half a dozen horses like him, you'd never have to work a day in your life. Because every time you put the bridle in his mouth, he's going to go over there and he's going to give you 110%. And not all horses do that. You know, he'll, he'll give his life for the game. He loves to run. 
just loves the rugby. He's a champion. Those horses are beautiful to watch, but I'll take any excuse to wear one of those hats, won't you? See you next time.